Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Danish and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel, hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. In recent developments surrounding the Iraqi Dinar, private contractors have reportedly received confirmation that payments are set to be issued this coming week, with some payments reaching up to a million per confirmed contract. This news has generated significant excitement in the dinar community, but perhaps the biggest revelation is that a prominent figure in the currency revaluation, RV, processor known as Awali has already been paid and returned home to initiate humanitarian projects. This individual, a close friend of the source reporting this update, has committed to dedicating a portion of his wealth toward charitable causes helping to transform communities in need. The person sharing this information expressed deep emotional gratitude and excitement upon receiving this news, revealing that they too are preparing to join in similar humanitarian initiatives. Though plans remain confidential, once the individual receives official clearance to proceed, they anticipate leaving for an undisclosed location, Marking a new chapter in the long awaited RV process. Questions persist about the fluctuating exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar against the US dollar, an issue impacting local businesses and citizens alike. According to a central bank advisor, many traders obtain US dollars at the official exchange rate from the central bank, yet sell goods at the black market rate, which is typically higher. The disparity between these rates has created an economic challenge, as the black market price has become a factor in the currency's volatility. Adding to these issues is Iraq's limited access to global correspondent banks, making it difficult to stabilize and regulate the exchange rate effectively. The central bank has highlighted how black market activities are harming Iraq's economy particularly at a time when the country has finally achieved relative security and stability. The effect on the average Iraqi citizen has been significant, with many seeing improved economic stability yet dealing with the challenges created by currency rate inconsistencies. In a significant turn of events earlier this week, one dinar enthusiast reported a startling observation on Forex, a brief spike in the dinar's value which seemed to drop one zero in its exchange rate. This person, alerted around 2 a.m. by a contact, watched as the dinar briefly surged on Forex, even reaching 0 0.76 before returning to its previous levels. This spike was unprecedented, the first in 20 years, and was interpreted as a possible test by Forex systems to gauge the dinar's response to valuation adjustments. For many followers, these tests hint that the revaluation might be closer than anticipated, sparking further speculation. Observers have noted similar shifts on Google when examining the five-day view of the Iraqi dinar's exchange rate, where it has shown signs of temporary increase before settling back down, giving hope to those who have long anticipated a shift in the currency's valuation. In the banking sector, there is growing talk of a favorable front screen rate for the dinar in redemption centers, with rates appearing just under 20. This suggests that the rate at redemption centers could exceed bank rates, potentially offering an elevated contract rate that could be over five times the standard exchange rate, exclusive to redemption centers. For investors, this possibility represents a rare and highly anticipated opportunity amplifying the urgencies surrounding current economic developments. Further fueling the excitement, recent political and legislative developments could accelerate the revaluation process. According to an Iraqi member of parliament, passing the 2025 budget is impossible without finalizing the financial accounts from the past two years. Alongside this, Significant progress has been reported on the draft hydrocarbon law, HCL, often referred to as the oil and gas law, which has been years in the making. Kazim Ali, a member of the Parliamentary Oil, Gas, and Resources Committee, 
recently announced that the law has moved to the Council of Ministers, marking a crucial step in establishing a fair resource-sharing framework between the federal government and the Kurdistan regional government, KRG. The collaborative efforts between these governments suggest a hopeful path forward in resolving long-standing economic and regional disputes. These developments have increased optimism among dinar investors and economic analysts alike, as the revaluation would likely follow any major economic reforms in Iraq, potentially stimulating growth and reducing dependence on foreign financial support. Another key development has been the recent BRICS summit in Russia, where some followers hoped to hear news about a potential new currency introduced by the BRICS organization. However, Intel guru Santi Ingram recently shared that no immediate plans for a BRICS currency were revealed at the summit. For those closely monitoring the dinar's revaluation and global currency exchanges, this means that, for now, there will be no major disruptions to the current currency landscape. While BRICS nations may still explore collaborative financial systems, the focus remains on Iraq's own currency reforms and economic progress as the primary factors driving the dinar's future. Alongside these domestic and international developments, other geopolitical issues have surfaced, notably in Syria, where U.S. military forces have reportedly ceased operations linked to oil smuggling. For years, American forces were allegedly involved in the transport of large quantities of crude oil from Syrian fields to brokers across the border in Iraq. The halt in these operations reportedly stems from rising tensions in the Middle East and heightened security concerns at U.S. military bases in Syria and Iraq. As regional anti-U.S. sentiments grow, fueled by perceptions of U.S. support for certain political entities and involvement in local conflicts, American forces have faced increased public scrutiny. The American presence in Syria has raised questions not only about its role in the region but also about the wider implications of foreign involvement in Iraq and Syria's oil sectors. While some analysts view the cessation of oil smuggling as a positive development, others are concerned about the broader implications for regional security and economic stability. Iraq's oil and gas law, if passed, could provide a regulatory framework to protect Iraq's resources, allowing the government to control revenue flows and promote fair economic practices within the oil industry. The legislation has reached the government debate table with Qasim Ali indicating that a vote could be imminent, possibly as soon as this Sunday. If approved, the law could reshape Iraq's energy sector, establishing a legal framework that strengthens economic sovereignty, addresses regional grievances, and creates pathways for sustainable growth. The convergence of these developments are the revaluation discussions, confirmation of private contractor payments, testing on Forex updates from the BRICS summit, and geopolitical changes in Syria reflects a dynamic landscape that could significantly influence Iraq's economic trajectory. For investors and citizens alike, these changes bring hope for a more stable, prosperous future. The Iraqi government's actions in the coming weeks will be crucial, as the nation takes steps toward long-awaited reforms and revaluation that could potentially open a new chapter in its economic history. The decisions made now will likely reverberate across Iraq's economy, impacting not only national wealth but the day-to-day -day lives of its people as well. For those awaiting Iraq's economic transformation, it's a time filled with anticipation and guarded optimism.